everyone, this is Weather Miss, and welcome to my 14th episode of Let's Play Minecraft Hardcore Mode. If I recall, last time I was trying to make um, mushroom soup bowls out of clay, and I remembered you can't do that, you gotta use wood, so we're gonna do it in this episode. Also, um, I still really can't remember what exactly we're gonna do as far as mining goes. I think I'm gonna go find that big old hole that I almost fell in a few episodes back with the, uh, cow meat so we'll have to see what happens as we go along okay so it's night time so clearly we're not gonna go anywhere right now cuz I don't wanna die yeah steak okay lots of steak awesome and I have plenty of coal in here perfect and in here as well do I have wood oops do I have wood yes Let's take this okay if I remember right this is how you make a bowl. Hot dog. Now let's, ooh, how do you make mushroom soup? Like this? Yes! Mushroom stew, pardon. All right, so mushroom stew does just the same thing as it does with the meat. It gives us a lot of um, hunger, or not hunger, but it satiates our hunger. I think that's the right word. And it will make us survive, so. Now I have plenty of food to go on any journey. Okay, so I need to make a sword. And I don't have any, oh, I have iron, okay. For a second I was like, I don't have any stone, but I can make an iron sword and that's better. Boom. I'm going to defend my area and fight people off. Do I need another, make another pickaxe for the road? I think so, let's go ahead and do that. And then shovel and axe is fine. I'm not really too concerned about those at the moment. Boom. All right. Um, I don't know what to do with the spider eye. I don't, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Let's see here. I don't think I need to make anything on the spot. Let's take a look outside. Okay, it's very much nighttime right now. And I remember closing this off, but I think I want to make it look a little bit nicer than what it does now, because it looks like a cluttered mess. I know the music's going on right now, and I hope it's not too loud, but we'll have to see how that turns out. Alright, I know I just cut that out, but I'm going to put it... Oh, there's a skeleton. Better shut it fast. Put it like that instead. You hear it? You hear the skeleton? Alrighty, this looks much prettier. Um... I was thinking about mining out some of this special stone and making it look all decorative in here because I think that'd be really cool um, to have like decoration and make it look really nice. So I think I'm going to mine out this white fancy stone, the diorite. What is this? Oh man, what's this? <gasps> Are you serious? This could not have happened. <laughs> oh my god, this is so lucky. Look at this. Wow, this is great. This is another cave to explore. I'm so excited. Yes. Now we don't have to um, mine somewhere else. We can actually mine in our own home still. This is very exciting news. Now, I just have to be careful because it's nighttime and there's zombies and things outside and I need to make sure I'm careful here. What I'll probably do is I'll probably close off this. Oh, see that creeper over there? He can't... Can you see me? I'm not going to risk it. Um, I'm going to close this off. That way I don't have anything coming from the outside world. And um, we'll continue the cave down here. Oh my gosh. What a coincidence. That makes me so, so happy. Um, for now, uh, I'm going to go over here real fast and throw this here and make the diorite blocks to decorate with. That should be plenty, right? It's polished diorite. Okay, let's put this 
Actually, I don't know if I want to put it in here now because it's the mine shaft, and I want to put it in a place that I'm going to be keeping lots of fancy things like my enchantment table or things like that. So I think I'm going to carve a little area out here, and there goes my pickaxe, that I'm going to use in the future for enchantment tables and other things like that. Let me put this out and structure this a little bit differently. Cobblestone here and here. Keep that like so. And then I'm going to cut this out and also line this in with cobblestone so it matches. Alrighty, let's keep on going here. I'm glad I'm getting all these fancy things because now it. Oh no! Are you serious? Oh, actually, I knew that was going to happen because I remember there was a cave back there. That's okay. We don't have to go that far. We can simply cut it off right here. So basically what's going to happen with the enchantment room is your enchanting table has to be surrounded by bookshelves in order to gain uh, experience um, usages on it, I guess. So basically what I'd have to do, oh man, I'm going to have to I'm gonna take this out. What I'm going to do is this whole thing, instead of being lined with this fancy stone, it's actually going to be lined with bookshelves. So, uh, the bookshelf, you can have your enchantment table here, so I'm going to put that there for now to kind of simulate that's where my enchantment table is going to be. And then your bookshelves would go here inside the wall, here inside the wall, and in here inside the wall. And I don't remember how many spaces it can be away from the uh, bookshelves, but I think it has to be one away to get the experience, but that's something I'm going to ch double check on because I'm not entirely too sure. I don't, I haven't done a lot with the enchantment table, so I still have to get used to it. But we have to find diamond first before we can get that far, so I'm just kind of getting this area prepped out. Um, ooh, I forgot I had a bed here. Sweet. I was watching a previous episode and I was, I realized that, um, it's so weird. I was watching the first episode and I was looking at the entrance here and I was like, wow, I've come so far. It's so great. So it was a little uh, interesting to look at, but I'm a little afraid to go out this way just because of the nighttime monsters and um, other dangerous things. Like that creeper over there that was over there. Is he still over there? I don't see him as much, but okay. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, we may be able to do this. We may be able to survive. Okay, torch on the right. And then I think I might mine this out. This fancy stone. Fancy, fancy. That looks really weird. The floor is extremely straight. Anyway, I'm going to mine this fancy stone out. And then I'm going to put some cobblestone and extend it out a little bit because when I'm running away from monsters or what have you, I want to make sure I have this kind of like protective barrier a little bit as I'm going into my home, just to be on the safe side. Okay, this looks really good. I'm really excited. This will be our grand task for next time. We will continue to go through this cave and get materials and stuff. And we'll see how far it goes down, because if it goes down deep enough, we may be able to find our first diamond. I hope so. Look at all this iron! Yes! Fancy! I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave that fancy there. But I'm going to mine out this coal, because you can never have too much coal. Well, you can, but, um, one of these episodes, I'm gonna make a uh, hopper, which basically what it does is you can put it above a chest or above a furnace, and it will automatically dispense that item that you have in the hopper into your chest or furnace or whatever. So you can put like a ton of coal in it and then you don't have to refill your furnace. You just have to make sure you refill your hopper. But the hopper has like five different spaces, I think. And so you can literally put five stacks of coal in there and then leave it alone for quite a bit. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, 
Oh boy, this is starting to look very dangerous. All right, we will continue this uh, cave next time. Whoops. All right, we're going to stay in our home and be safe. All right, everyone, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.